for today's video I'm going to scavenge from the post office to the scrapyard about seven miles away give or take and see what I can find by the time I get there this one on top here this is a book uh, two books on Amazon and, a, and an eBay Levi's in the middle the book on top here is a 76 year old book called feed and feeding sipping off to some farm in Michigan I got uh, forty dollars for that I listed it six years ago or so and it just sold today so that's a cool thing about Amazon book selling you just stack them up in a corner somewhere and one day they'll sell <laughs> but that's my jam on, on Amazon book selling I see some shows they get the new stuff and they look for rankings I've had my best luck with like college textbooks and really old books and educational instructional type books old educational that's my jam all right let's get to the show folks so I'm heading to the scrap yard so I wouldn't mind finding some nice scrap metal and unload it there oh, I just came from the scrap yard up by where I live there goes my <laughs> my bonus suckers from the scrap yard Maybe I'll find some other stuff, but right now I wouldn't mind finding scrap metal. Instant cash at the scrap yard. I've got about, my clock's about eight, nine minutes fast. I want to get to the scrap yard by real time at 4.30. It's uh, 2.45, call it 2.36. So let's just say two hours, two hours from here to the scrap yard. I'm going to bebop scavenging, see what I can have in two hours metal is instant cash for anyone interested <clears throat> all right that's very first dumpster post office is right down there these, bin, these uh, dumpsters have been emptied this morning, which was probably about six to eight, ten hours ago. So that's the first thing thrown in there. Look at that. The blue stuff is communications wire, which is valuable. The black stuff is uh, coaxial cable, which is not really that valuable. But uh, I can throw it in with my tin shred. And then these will be like a dirty brass. Sometimes I think they're stainless, but I'll snip those off there. And uh, I got a little bit of skibble scabble that I'm bringing along. Maybe 50 cents worth of stuff down there in the bottom. 25 cents maybe. And the second dumpster I check has a giant metal file cabinet in it. Um, this is the kind of stuff I skip in return for high, high mobility for covering ground. Um, an older one there if I had to I could like take the drawers out of there and take the drawers and stuff but, uh, make a video see what I can find how exciting would it be for me to make a video about a two dollar file cabinet <laughs> um, so this is 2 30 Tuesday afternoon about the very worst time I could possibly do this as far as people being around here and like I said a lot of the trucks came this morning and Monday morning but as I go through the next seven miles down towards the scrapyard I'll go through different parts of town where the dumpsters weren't picked up this morning or Monday right so I'm just rip right through all kinds of different dumpster truck routes. Ah, hey, what do we got here? Hey, look at it. That. That's some valuable scrap right there. That's one of one of the best things you can find. A sink over there with the copper and brass hanging off of it. What do we got here, folks? Got a mess. This looks like illegal dumping, actually. This used to be the Girl Scouts of America building. I don't I think it's changed ownership now or I don't think they're in there anymore. Someone else in there, but anyways, whatever I'm trying to say, I do believe this is illegal dumping. This old scuzzy mattress. 
So lots of times landowners, property owners would probably actually like a legitimate scavenger, le legitimate dumpster divers to come in here and take stuff. <laughs> right? It's the illegal dumping. It really makes people angry. But uh, that's nice. Those are actually some nice little weighty bars. I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not real heavy. But lots of times that tin, bars like that are super lightweight. These are kind of a medium, kind of a medium grade. So I'll have those. That's kind of stuff I collect right there. I kind of like that one. I mean, I like the original stuff. I've said many times, but that's unique enough to where I think I'll have this one. I'll come back for it. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. It's kind of neat. It's almost like little dishes. Huh. A little crafty person could probably do something neat with that. Oh, speaking of keeping stuff, I collect art as long as it's something fairly from someone fairly established and not just a mess. So maybe I don't make it two hours. <laughs> maybe I just get filled up and go to the scrapyard and then go run another little loop down in that town. And uh, maybe I'll end up taking two trips or three trips to the scrapyard in this video. That's supposed to pop off there. Come on, you stubborn little dude. Huh. Well, <laughs> it would appear my hopes are confirmed. Oh, a bunch of scrap metal. This is maybe only the seventh or eighth dumpster I've checked. That's aluminum. That that aluminum cable has been stripped out of out of uh, some plastic insulation. I can use this piece of glass for my snake terrarium. 
So I'm gonna leave that here. Come back and pick that up on the way home. And uh, there's actually a battery. <clears throat> Lead acid battery in here. It's nice. Except for my long handle screwdriver got stolen. Oh, I can barely reach. I can barely reach it. <laughs> <laughs> nice little lead and this is just all scrap metal it's just wonderful on a bunch of tin but uh, I have a feeling I'm just gonna go here pretty quick I'm gonna take a beeline straight to the scrap yard and unload all this that's like a uh, I'm not sure what that looks like a grill off of a car or truck I think it's a I think it's aluminum and stainless steel uh, no it's just all aluminum that's interesting huh can't say I've seen many of those. <clears throat> I don't have a fully charged battery, so I'm going to uh, shorten some of these clips, turn the battery off. cinder blocks might be more under there and there's two wooden stools these apartment complexes throw out these furnished wooden stools bar stools there's two of them in there they're usually really nice so i'm gonna come back and get those as well on the way home check that out a couple more bar stools those have backs i might have to have those for myself those spin see they're on a rotating spinner spinny deal um those look like they're super solid i'm not sure if this place furnishes those or not that's kind of what they look like but uh the furnished bar stools in these apartments they're made super strong right I was hoping that was a vacuum cleaner cord. <laughs> it's like a pump or a float deal out of a toilet, what do you think? It looks like Pier One has went out of business or they're doing a major renovation. It looks like they're gutting a the building. Oh, aluminum for me, steel for me. That is a heavy duty ceiling fan down there. It's buried and I don't have time to mess around. If I want to make a decent video with lots of stuff, you got to skip it, right? I learned many moons ago, skipping, skipping cheap, big chunks of scrap metal in return for covering vast amounts of ground is uh, simply the best way to go covering ground there is no factor more important 
right? I could spend 10 hours picking up every big piece of tin, tin and steel and not find the thousand dollar item, right? <laughs> That's in dumpster number 372, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if anyone has ever heard a rough outline of quantum mechanics. But it's kind of like that. It's kind of like implied odds, right? It's kind of hard to explain. It's, it's easy to explain, right? It just comes down to covering. You want to go out today and cover 300 dumpsters or 100? Where, where will you find more value, right? I don't want to get too carried away. <laughs> I don't understand quantum mechanics. I guess no one really does. But uh, that the rough the the definition of it, right? Just Google it. If you watch a couple videos, just about the general theory of how it works, right? It's like you come to a stop sign. You don't have GPS or modern computers, right? And you don't know which way to go, left or right. Just go left immediately right because left and right are both wrong and both right because you don't know right you don't know which one's right which one's wrong well this is i just find stuff all over man there's an interesting, interesting basket down there so how you know put that to practical use like if you're delivering something and you don't know exactly which way to go just go left immediately or right immediately, just make up your mind instantly. Because right. <laughs> if you don't know, both left and right are both correct and incorrect, right? So just make up your mind immediately. This is the best decision you could possibly make. Just go. Don't just, <laughs> just go. Go right away. Right? You'll, you'll find out which way is right and which way is wrong. There is nothing. There is no other option, you know what I'm saying? You just have to, you have to go. That basket's all tore up. It's got a lot of broken bits in it and stuff. A lot of this has the copper wire still in it. It's the number one insulated copper wire. That's uh, probably gonna be about $1.80 a pound right now. I have to look at the menu when we get down there. I don't think I've ever seen a building that's been under construction more than this one. About 10 years ago, it was just under construction for years, it seemed like. And now, it looks like they're doing it again. I wonder if different companies keep buying it or something. It's interesting.
stubborn little ink tank in there. Let's see. <laughs> hey, you know what? Those are the ink tanks my printer takes. I, I think I just scored myself some free ink. If not, I lock those up and sell them on eBay in a giant lot. I just auction them off. So, scrapyards might not take these these days when they're plastic. Um, but there's some metal in there, as you can see. So, <laughs> I was going to say that one was borderline, but now that I've removed all that junk, scrapyard should take that. Most well, scrapyards should take it like that. But uh, I want to thank the people. There's a nice little circuit board on here. Look at that. I never really went after the circuit boards enough. It's, it's a low grade one, it looks like. So it's not worth much, but it's better than I thought it would look. It's got some copper copper windings on it. Um, I want to thank the people. In, my, in a recent video, I found a, a Epson something 4700 EN or ET or something. 4700. It's just a little white plastic little printer. You know, just a cheap thing. People are saying it's like $300. I looked it up. They're selling for up to $400 new. So I went back to get it. I was going to sell for parts on eBay. You know, maybe make $50, bucks. But the, the mammoth came and got the got the truck. I call the, the garbage trucks mammoth because they got the big tusks, right? They stick their tusks in the holes. <laughs> their forks. Mammoth. And they dump it over. Dump it over on their back. The mammoth got it before I could get back to it. But I appreciate that. I appreciate all the stuff, all the comments. I learn a lot. I learn a lot from you guys and I appreciate that. So keep them comments coming when you see something super valuable that I skip or, or don't understand. Let me know, I appreciate it. I learned tons of valuable stuff from you guys. All right. It is 3.45, quarter to four. So I only have 45 minutes. Let's see how long it takes me to get out of here. I can go run another quick loop-de-loop -loop and probably make it back here before five. So uh, get this unloaded. That might actually be aluminum, let's see. I think that's actually an aluminum in there. So uh, I'll see what they want to do with that up at the scale. It might just go as brass breakage. Sometimes these will be steel. That one's brass, that's a nice piece of brass right there. Most scrap yards will probably require you to clean it up totally. All right. Good enough right there. And then uh, this lead acid battery's gotta go up the road. I might not have time to come back. Hopefully they can get me through the scale real quick. So the most valuable thing I found, as stupid as it sounds, could be these. <laughs> If those are not empty, if those have a lot of ink left in them, what were those last time I bought those? Those are the extra L ones, extra large. 50 bucks for both those. I gotta take the, I gotta take the wire out of here, shoot. Okay, so got short steel here. I'm gonna use my bucket for the short steel. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use my bucket for the tin. Got short steel here. Nice, clean, thick stuff. This is gonna go probably as dirty brass. Some yards might call it a brass breakage. However your yards do things, that's how you will do things. 
This is probably going to go as clean brass. Some yards might call that plumber's brass. This will go as clean brass. These are the ends off of the hoses, off that sink. These are aluminum, cast aluminum. The bolts off the, the sink knobs that were holding those white pieces of plastic up in here. And then a little bit of copper, probably not gonna be enough to weigh. Here's some door, I have a category for doorknobs here. Some places might call it dirty brass or brass breakage, I don't know. That goes to the sound. I'll just throw these in with it. It's like a dirty brass, dirty stainless type deal here. This is a piece of brass. Uh, this is aluminum. I think that's a grill, some kind of grill off a car, I think. And it's a nice little carry-in device for me right now. You saw this aluminum cables. These conduits for that number one insulator copper wire are aluminum. Sometimes they'll be steel, so you gotta hit them with a magnet. One can, not enough to weigh, and uh, some aluminum doodads. And this will go as tin shred. This will all go as tin shred here. I'm gonna throw this coaxial cable. Those are the ends off the coaxial cable. I'll throw them in. They'll go some sort of breakage. I'll just throw that in with the tin. Some yards might not accept that stuff. You have to talk to them about it. This is all tin. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I might just start my video out here saying that. Okay, let's talk about it. This is a chair. Like these chairs, like that chair, like this chair. Um, these are terrible products. They fall apart. This is this. It's an amazing amount of these. I think like 10 bucks at Walmart you can buy them. They fall apart, man. Um, these chairs here, here's a chair like this, a little kid's chair. There's an adult version of it. Just literally falling apart. You probably could find a better chair, unless you just want a disposable chair and you want to waste $10. You know, if that's what you want to do, then that's a good chair to do that with. And uh, I'll tin shred. It's gonna go as number two insulator copper wire. This could probably go as communications wire. There's about a pound in there, it's kind of a mixture. Number one insulated copper here. This is the good stuff. This uh, is almost two pounds. That could be two pounds. We'll see what the receipt says. That's close to two pounds. So that may almost be four dollars right there in my hand. That's the good stuff, folks. That's the good stuff. I mean, here's my pile of waste plastic that everyone really likes. There we go. Throw that in the garbage. Uh, what did I miss? Anything? I think that's it. Let's go see what it's worth. Alrighty, it's starting to rain out here too. Pick up my garbage. We're gonna go up to the battery shop. I'm not gonna have time to go make another loop and come back to the scrapyard. So uh, here's the plan. I'm gonna run out the battery. I got I got 42% battery. It's holding up really well actually. I got a battery that's kind of malfunctioning. It gives false readings stuff so <laughs> Uh, I'm going to, uh, with the battery I got left in the remaining daylight, I'm going to scavenge on the way back home, see what I can find for you. Let's go see how much money I made. So what I got here at quarter to four, what I said, what's the time I start at? Three, uh, two thirty. That's an hour and 15 minutes right there. You see right there. $13.85, seven pounds clean aluminum, 40 cents a pound, $2.80, a pound of cat five, 90 cents a pound, that's that insulated copper wire. Number one insulated copper wire, the stuff, the green and white stuff I pulled out of the aluminum tubes, two pounds, uh, well that's a dollar fifty. I'm not up to date, I haven't been paying attention, $3.57 pounds, 10, six cents a pound for $3.42. Seven pounds short steel, nine cents a pound, 63 cents. I got plumber's brass for that stuff. I scratched it, it was aluminum, so it all went as plumber's brass, $1.20. Uh, only a pound, that might be a pound short, but oh well. Uh, oh no, they, they made up for it, look at it. And I got a pound of brass, $1.90, $1.80. Uh, doorknobs, that was a doorknob, and it, the ends I cut off the uh, cat fire, or the uh, coaxial cable and uh, some of the other tidbits they call that a pound for 10 cents 
so uh, let's go see what this battery's worth we'll get a grand tally on what you just saw it took me an hour and 15 minutes to get down here of course i'm consuming time it's five after four right now so i've been here for 20 minutes so we got to include that don't forget that <laughs> Seven pounds. What do you think? Four pounds. What? What? Scale don't lie. At least I don't think so. So last time it was 15 cents a pound. So that's only gonna be a 60 cent battery, man. That's that's surprising what do you think. So it's 60 cents for that little thing. And uh I'm gonna go spin through here through this town and head home hopefully it doesn't rain uh battery's down to 36 percent so add 60 cents to the tally let's call it 25 minutes 35 four hour and 40 minutes uh over 14 dollars so right it's not it's not anything super amazing but that's what i was wanting to find and i found it just pure scrap metal I like the most valuable things probably gonna be those ink tanks if there's ink in them and uh, I'll actually go test them out and I'll show it right now so it's actually 70 to 80 dollars for the black and the tricolor the tricolor XL by itself 44 dollars at Walmart the black one was empty tricolor half full I'm claiming 22 dollars folks 22 dollars for me a lot of the value that I come across isn't in reselling or selling scrap or anything that's that kind of stuff that's 22 dollars that's the unseen the unseen value of what i do right the, the key to what i'm doing here is, is skipping that big bulky tin and trying to find the big the big game right the hundred dollar laptop right the two hundred dollars worth of video game gear you know what i'm saying looking for the big stuff the big stuff so far is those ink tanks, if they worked. So that's like uh, about $9 an hour, give or take, just roughly. $9 an hour in scrap metal. Keeps the lights on, right, you know what I'm saying? Puts dinner on a table, you know. Recycle, 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 recycle. All the different kinds of recyclables. Let's have a peek in the dumpster. <laughs> Two dollars worth of copper and uh, about a dollar's worth of aluminum. Go down, Brain. Get that guy. That's a cast aluminum right there, whatever that is. Some kind of some kind of table. Oh, it's big. It's got some kind of safety nuts on it. So I could smash I could smash that off there if I wanted. Now that I say that. <laughs> Stronger than I thought. for the core muscles. 
suit. Oh. Let's see. Let's see exactly what they say. Just for just for fun and giggles. Uh, first one. <laughs> Aluminum. Steel cans. Paper. Plastic. Plastic glass. Why? Why in the world wouldn't we have recycle containers for copper and brass? <laughs> The two, the two most valuable items. I don't think I've ever seen any recycle bin anywhere that even deals with it. was full of scrap, scrap metal scrap metal and grain <laughs> that's perfect we think big chickens kind of skinny warm weather will put some meat on his bones that was a turkey wasn't it so Recycle bins for copper. It's not like it would be steel cans, mixed paper, glass, aluminum cans, plastic bottles, plastic bottles. It's not like it would be, uh, I mean, they'd probably get stolen actually. <laughs> if there was a tote full of copper over there and brass, it'd probably get stolen immediately. Maybe that has something to do with it, we think. But it's not like it's hard to explain to people. You know, every single electrical cord for the most part, almost you know, 99% electrical cords. Cut them off, that's copper, right? It's not that difficult to just treat them the same way as tin cans and paper and plastic and aluminum cans, right? Copper cords, it's not that difficult. I don't understand why, why they don't try to recycle them. Nice chunk. It'll go 10 cents a pound. That right there, my friends, was about 70 cents, 80 cents. It was aluminum breakage on a little broken drill or whatever that was. Grinder, what was it? Uh, this is always an interesting dumpster. Some sort of small time contractor lives in here, I assume. Battery is toast. It's a rain out and I'm out of gas all at the same time. So that's gonna end the video. I sure hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.